Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I'm going to do a beautiful little seascape, maybe one where we'll show a little more detail in the foreground. And of course, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's get started. We'll start off today with our two inch brush and some blue, black, and a little bit of white. And let's start in the sky area here and drop in a, a nice deep, deep sky. Now, maybe in our painting today, we'll We'll paint some big, big clouds. I think that'll be fun. There, and I coated the top here with a little bit of clear gel and white. And the, the bottom's dry. Now you may be wondering why I don't have a piece of masking tape. Well, I've got a lot of big mountains here, so I don't think it'll really be necessary. And I'll probably have a splash here, so we may not even see the horizon. Today it's just a little bit different. Today. I have that horizon line much higher than I normally would for a, a scene where I have mountains and a beach because I'm going to see what I can do about getting a little extra detail in here. So I want a little extra room to work. There. Next I'll load up our filbert brush with a little bit of white and just a speck of red, mostly white. And let's start thinking about these little clouds up here. Maybe. Well, let's see, I started there. I don't like that one there because it's, it's dead center. So let's change it. Let's move it over here. Cool. It's always kind of fun to, to do things with you. You can see, you can see how I paint and, and how things might change or whatever. So I just don't want to start at dead center. Cool. Maybe that comes down. Okay, there we go. I like that. It kind of mounds up. Now this one here, I could just leave it and catch it later, or I'll just maybe show you here. Just paint it right out. No big deal. <laughs> there you go. Super easy. Blend it right into the top of the sky. Nice subtle brushwork here. I don't want to go crazy and layer on too much paint. Now maybe right over here, watch this. What if we had it sort of straighten out? This is going to be a really neat cloud, I think. I like kind of showing you different clouds. We like playing around with things like that together. So there you go. <laughs> cool. So it's like a straight cloud and then it goes up. You know what? Clouds are so crazy. You can do whatever you want with them. There. And it'll usually look pretty good. It usually looks pretty natural. There we go. Now I've got the soft background worked in. It's completed for the most part. We'll do a little bit to it, but Right here, let me change brushes right here down at the bottom. Let's take a little bit of black, blue, touch of brown. And I want to just cut in a bit of a well, one more little layer. See, each time we do a layer, it gets slightly darker. And I do change the color around a little here and there. You know, I don't want everything the same. Okay, maybe that comes out to there. Good. Each layer of shape is different, the color is different, and the value gets just a tiny bit darker. Good. Back to my other brush. This is the one I had, I was using on the clouds, so it has some lighter colors. I've been working. Look how, look at how impressionistic this is. I love it. So I've been working this color back and forth between light and dark. Give it a nice misty effect. Now, let me show you something really cool. Leave it rough. <laughs> Grab our blender brush. I'm going to load it up with here just with a little bit of white. I'm just load it by tapping it onto the palette. Oh man, this is always fun. Love it when we can do things like this. I'm going to set this brush down in the sky, roll it around and watch that. Oh yeah, <laughs> cool. Let it go right into, right into that mountain. Or maybe this is like an island. I'm not exactly sure. Tell you what, it's just whatever you guys think it is. I don't care. I always just kind of let my viewer figure things out. So that's something you might want to do too. It's really fun. Wow. You can get some really nice effects, really soft effects. And it's so tiny and very easy to use. This thing won't overpower you. You'll be able to control it and it just makes some cool effects. So there you go. I'm going to do this over and over again until I have this mist the way I want it. Now we'll just brush in this blue part here in the bottom. This is simply just, it's just ocean. We're, we're just mapping in an ocean area. And I put a little white here to represent a wave. And <laughs> that one's kind of a crazy little wave, isn't it? And 
I'm really just, just focusing on getting the canvas covered here. I don't want to go just pure blue. Okay, watch this. Here's blue. See how that looks black? I don't want to do that too much. It's okay to do it a little bit. <laughs> don't want to do it too much yet. Simply because it'll look like a black hole when you put the highlight on. That's okay a little bit, especially in the foreground, but don't do it too much. I want to have a lot of this kind of a mid-tone water. There. Then you can go a little darker on the outside. Allow it to mix with some of that blue so it doesn't go totally dark. Next with a mix of yellow, green, blue, and white. Let's just come right over here and paint in a little eye of the wave. Now this can be a little tricky. And if you painted seascapes, I'm sure you know what I mean. The problem usually happens here when people take this color and say, okay, I'm gonna paint the whole thing. And they do that and just everything's covered. Let's not do that. Instead, what I like to do on my seascapes is I'll run this color right here. That's kind of the color number one. And then maybe I'll just wipe my brush off over here and wipe it off in the foreground. Okay, now I'm done with that color. I'm gonna grab a different color now. Let's take a little blue and green. I love showing you guys all these cool tips. Blue and green, so it's a little darker. A little more blue than that. Okay, now see that? It's a blend between the, the blue and the green. So I'll stick a little bit of that in here. There you go. Just a bit. Now over here, I'll kind of fill in with this. I don't care if the canvas shows through because I'm gonna be blending it. And again, I'll wipe my brush here in the foreground and in the background. Wipe my brush on a paper towel to clean it. A little yellow. Let's see what this does for us. A dirty brush so it kind of becomes a green. Watch this. Oh yeah, put that glow right in the middle. And there you have it. You blend all that together and you got yourself a, a nice realistic wave. Now I'll mix together a little bit of white and blue, mostly white. <laughs> on the three quarter brush. All right, now let's go ahead and begin to pick out some brighter areas. I spent just not a whole lot of time, just a bit of time sort of refining the edges and shapes here. So making this, you know, making the wave the way I wanted it to be. Now, before we get too carried away, there are several things I wanna do here. I need to run a line here somewhere and what I'm really worried about here is this foam. There. I'm going to just almost crunch it in, right? See, you just can do that. Uh, we'll throw a rock there so that it looks correct, but just for now, get something in there. And I want to make this, see, it's already picking up the blue underneath and almost becoming just an underpainting. That's cool. So back to the, <laughs> back to the white. And let's sparkle up some of these areas. I'm gonna do probably a couple highlights. Here's the, the first one. Just, just a little, it's, this is gonna be, like I said, I mixed a little bit of blue in there, so it's gonna be a little subtle. And then we'll get out our little detail brush and, oh man, see what we can do with that one later. But for now, just the corner of the three-quarter brush. This brush is really super, because it's, it's soft and you can get some good, good little clean edges with it. Nice. And I want to go really subtle here in the background. Let it fade off, because remember, we really don't have much of a horizon. Now, let's address this little splash right here. I'm going to, it's just a filbert brush here, and I'm going to have a splash that just breaks the horizon here. It's, it's so big because we're going to do another boulder. <laughs> there you go, pre-planning the painting. It really does save a lot of time and effort. Now we can begin to work on some of the incredible details here of this large wave. And I just have a little bit of yellow and white on a pointed detail brush. A little detail round. So I'm just, I'm touching very, very carefully. I'm not trying to get too much of this highlight out here. And I'm also not trying to go solid, because if you do solid, it won't look good. It'll just look weird. And I'm not interested in a weird seascape today. What'll happen is it'll just lose all your darks and it'll go very flat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just drop in some beautiful little detail areas here. And I've got kind of a mid-tone blue going. 
There, I've worked in several darker blue areas to start off, and now I'm gonna kinda go over those areas with this detail. Create as many foam lines as you want, because there's really a lot in Seascapes, so it's kinda up to you how much time you wanna spend on this thing, so. You at least want enough to really show the shape of the wave and, and make sure everything is looking correct. But you can put in, you can put in just about every single little line you would normally see. And if you don't know how many there are in a seascape, you can look at some pictures or just use mine and get an idea of how far you should take it. It's pretty difficult to put too much detail into a painting. There. Now if your colors start to become muddy, take a paper towel and just carefully, carefully wipe down that area and then and then continue painting. There. Obviously, as you go away from the center here, you want to get darker. There. Now with our three-quarter brush, I'm actually going to come back up to the sky. I know this is not normal, but you see, I, after I, we're pretty much done here, so after I got to looking at our seascape, and the color is definitely all done, I got to thinking, well, the sky doesn't quite fit. The sky is pretty gray, and the seascape is Got some beautiful blues in it, which I like. So I want to make the sky match a little seascape a little better. Not, you know, it's obviously not super important, but just want to get a little bit more of a blue and kind of paint over some of that gray. Pretty simple to do. So anyways, I thought I'd show you how to do that. There, I'm not even worried about these clouds. I'm just being very, very gentle, giving it a light stroke. And I doubt if we'll even have to worry about blending these clouds again. Of course, if you damage your clouds, you can always fix them, paint them in one more time. Next, with our little detail brush, I'm just gonna pop in a really tiny, tiny sliver of black. Actually, this black has a little blue mixed in with it, just so it's not totally black. And what this is gonna do is create a beautiful little shadow. Now you have a couple of choices. You can either draw a broken line or do what I'm doing and just block it in and then come back with a little bit of this light blue and break it up because you don't want it solid. There we go. Keep it as thin as you can. You don't want a big thick line out here. That wouldn't look too good. Now we'll just drop in a, a little bit of highlight to this rock and really to several of these rocks here in the foreground. I'm choosing to use a little detail brush simply because it gives me some, some nice, nice little effects. Now, as we go back into the distance, I'll probably change to a filbert. Give us a little bit more of a, well, more of a subtle rock, not as much detail. There, it doesn't take a whole lot, just a bit. Set that brush down, grab a, let's grab a filbert. And maybe right back here. I don't want this rock to stand out too much, but I just want to drop a, a tiny subtle hint of color on it. There. Nice. <laughs> this rock is really getting smashed by the waves, isn't it? That's cool. <laughs> Fun. All right. Be careful not to get too much of this color into your blue because it really makes it really makes it go away. It's hard to get that pure blue out there. Probably have to wipe it off. There. Now with our fan brush and the, and the palette knife, I'm just gonna simply flick on a few little white specks. And this is gonna create a beautiful amount of detail very easily. There, see this is just giving us a very, very light mist on the painting. It looks like that foam is kind of kicking up and creating a bunch of individual details that are just very neat and tough to do with a brush. It'd be very difficult to put in a lot of little dots with a brush, so this works. Just flick them on. And the paint has been thinned just a little. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. And thanks for watching.